The official B Plays Dolly plushie is now available. Head over to bplays.com forward slash plush to get your own dolly today. Link in the description. little beans my name is b and welcome back to my channel before we get started with today's video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack up b when buying robux or premium we are actually live right now while we're recording this there's lots of people here in the chat that are watching right now hello everybody i want to talk to you a little bit about some secrets that you might find inside of the dorm update in royal high as well as some of the secrets that are going around right now in royal high as well and also to share some build hacks with you guys and some little bits and bobs of things that you can do inside your dorms to make them even more exciting now one thing i will say before we get started is in case you haven't already found it for whatever reason there is also a chest location inside the dorms if you come into the spa area and swim down to the front you'll know this chest is here anyway if you have already played because when you first walk into the dorms literally the first thing that you will see is this chest behind the glass where the piano is anyway so just in case you didn't already know there is a chest right there that you can grab as well now there's another little thing that's been happening as well that's really really strange i'm just going to show it to you guys a lot of people have been wondering about ways to get back into campus 3 if you're currently inside of say f or somewhere else in the royal world because there isn't obviously a teleport with the old map to get you back here again but as it turns out you guys some people have noticed some really weird little secret that has happened that allows you to get back into campus 3 from inside of the royal world so when you are inside the royal world obviously right now the sidebars and menus haven't been transferred yet so you still have the old map however despite that enchantix and fantasia have in fact already been removed so the only way that you can get back into the normal places is actually normally to leave and rejoin but there is actually a way to get back in all you have to do is teleport to either fantasia or enchantix since the realms no longer exist they were replaced with other things if you teleport to enchantix it will now take you to the rainy day classroom and if you teleport to fantasia it will actually take you through straight to the dorms because the dorms replace the fantasia realm so if you teleport through it will actually take you all the way through and into the dorms again so you can re-enter into campus three so yeah, that's a quick way to get back into Campus 3 without having to actually leave the realm or leave the game. Once you are in here, of course, there are some various little things that you could explore. And there is actually a secret I specifically wanted to share with you guys that my friend Iris noticed that I think is really, really cool. So let me go ahead and head into another dorm. Actually, no, this was my friend LL Comics. Iris noticed a teleporting thing. LL Comics noticed the other thing that I'm going to show you guys. So if we go inside my dorm, we'll need my dorm key. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, actually, I forgot. There is one little problem. Problem. if you guys go back inside of the royal world your dom key might disappear and if it does you'll have to rejoin also in addition to the teleporting i just also got reminded by the chat that if you teleport to apartments or to divinia from the earth realm it used to take you to arrival but since there is no arrival anymore it will actually take you straight to main campus too so you can also do that to get into campus three now once you are in your dorm and you have your dorm key fixed up and you can use it if you head on inside here's a little secret that ll comics noticed which i think is really really cool my dorm key away if you guys go into the decorate menu whether or not you have the game pass you can find these little sticker packs and if you go ahead and press try on them and stick it to a wall you can toggle through them so let me just rotate it around so you can see and obviously you'll see all of the different sticker packs in here that are currently available in royal high but there's something interesting if you click through you will notice there is also some other sticker packs in here that are actually not currently available in royal high so for example if we get through these ones that are currently available eventually we will come to one that starts off with a like summer fun one so i'm gonna go ahead and click through and eventually we'll get there there's a lot of ones that are available there we go summer fun this is not currently actually available in your journal neither is vintage vacay but that's showing up as well and also if you click through a little bit more there is also a fruit one fresh fruit which is at the end and the fresh fruit one is also not currently available in your journal but shows up here as well so i don't know if these are going to be loading into the journal soon or showing up soon but they do actually show in here right now 
out. I don't know if the Fresh Fruit one has loaded in yet. This one might have, but the other two have not yet. So there are actually new sticker packs in here that haven't been added in. Just a random little secret, you guys, of something that maybe is going to be added later, which I think is really, really cool. Now, onto the dorm section of the video. Now, obviously, as you can see, I have had quite a lot of time to actually do my dorm. I have really, really gone kind of crazy with my dorm. There is a whole lot of stuff in here, as you can see. Various different areas for various different objects like i guess things that you can do various different tasks various different things that you might do during the day within the different sections of my dorm so obviously i've got over here my little sitting area to use my computer and some shelves and then my favorite dress is there as well then up here i have got my dolly and of course the sleeping area over here i've got like a chill area with the puppies in them and then there's another chill area here just to cover up the balcony door because obviously the balcony door is not openable so i thought why not cover it up and make a cute area there instead and then we've got this cute area here which is obviously just some like plants in the corner and then the dressing table with all my makeup and things like that underneath here i've got all of my halos with all of the dresses and a little tea area because it has to be british you know because i am british and then in here we've got my writing desk and stationery and all my shoes and then some of my skirts all on the wall and my backpacks and teddy bears down there too i thought that was really really cute now one build hack people keep asking me about is how you make the walls and floors inside of the game so if you want to go ahead and make walls and floors what you need to do is go to decorate click on furniture and find platform it's called a teen dreams platform and this is so versatile you guys if you go ahead and pop this inside your world obviously it creates this platform this is actually what i used to make this area here and what i used to do everything else you can toggle through like this to create various different blocks Blocks, various platforms things with legs things like this and what you can do is if you make a flat one with none of the legs available on it just like this you can then rotate it up and down move it up to be a ceiling if you want to to add another floor or if you want to you can transform it by tilting it to make an actual solid wall so then you can make new walls in your room to make new areas so that you can section them off if you would like to which i think is really useful and then at the side of it what i personally did you can do a ladder or if you want you can use these stairs the teen dream stairs these are also fully toggleable to make various different heights and various different staircases which is what i used here to create the little walkway to get up on top of my bed followed by a solid block that I placed here to make it flat and then I put a bookcase toggled to an archway here which is what the dog is hiding inside of just like I did for the shelves here and here so there's lots of little hacks you can do with these and lots of little things you can do as you can see for the other side I decided to use a ladder there are two types of ladders there's a rope ladder and then there is also a normal ladder the rope ladder just looks like a normal rope ladder and the normal ladder has toggles for you to actually do various things with it which I think look really cool personally I really like this ladder because there's different lights and stuff that you can turn on and off and you can obviously toggle it to have like vines and things like that on it instead if you don't want lights it's completely up to you because obviously a lot of lights can be quite a lot now another little hack you can do you guys is as well as being able to place things around you can also place things inside of stuff so as you can see i made some baskets over here that have like various different items inside of them there is actually a texture that stephanie found that you can use to make paper look like actual writing paper too instead of just blank paper and also these scented erasers can be toggled into various fruits and sweets so i did that on this wall and stuck them up as little pins on my pin board so as you can see i actually made a i used the heart shaped pin board here to make the entire wall a cork board like a bulletin board i guess all on the back and these are all actually handles that i used to create a little decor on the wall so you can do that over here as well as you can see i've used the strawberry ones to create little decals and stuff to put all over the wall and i think that looks absolutely gorgeous there's various different hacks that you can do like this one over here putting curtains all around to cover up the door or for example if you want to put like canopies over these the beds for example is a good one because my bed is really big because it's actually two single beds put together and then i just move the blankets around to how i wanted them to really take advantage of the space and make it work really really well there's so much you can do with it you guys you have no idea you can like really customize this to make it really really unique and i am absolutely in love with this entire system i think that barbie has done an incredible job and so have the dev team and i just absolutely love this so very much and i'm so excited to see what could come next the thing is there's so much furniture in here i have a feeling the developers might end up actually doing some other things in 
the future, you never know. Now, in case you're interested, my friends have also been using various hacks like this. For example, Stephanie has a hack here to make the penguin wear the halo. Or she's made a big platform for her bed up here as well, as you guys can see. There's various different things that people have done to make things really cute. Placing all these books on the shelves. There's like the tape dispenser. People have put the guards. One of my favorite hacks that I've used to build is one that people keep asking me about, which is how I place these things outside the dorm. As you can see, I've actually got a plant and the guard outside the dorm. It shouldn't bother anybody because when you walk away, dorms unload so they don't cause lag. So having these out here shouldn't bother anyone. But if you do want to place something outside, all you have to do is go ahead and actually grab whatever it is you want to place. So let's say a vanity, put it up against this wall just like this. And then once it's there, all you have to do is then manipulate it to put it into the right place. So if I flip it all around like this, and then you can actually move it to put it outside. Now, I don't know if the developers will patch this to make it so that you can put stuff outside. But as long as you don't go wild and put ridiculous things out there and like spoil the whole area, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't want you to put things outside. That's why I placed my guard there, for example, and my little plant, just I thought it was cute when you approach the doors because you would see the guard and you would see the little plant. But of course, as soon as you walk away enough, they will unload. So it won't really bother anybody anyway. So personally, I just thought it was a cute little addition to my dorm just to make things cute. Now I'm going to see if Dewey will let me into her dorm because she has some really cool hacks. And also you can see Iris has some too. She's got the separate wall here. She's been hanging dresses and parasols up for you to use. Various different things around so that you guys can really take advantage of the area. There's a little dolly guarding a halo down there as well, as you can see, which I really, really like. It sounds like Dewey is fast asleep inside her dorm, so we're not going to be having a look at that one today. But as you guys can see, there are so many really cool build hacks that you can use to really make your dorms unique. Lots of people are doing various different things like making platforms for them to sleep on at the top or making little areas like nooks like this for you to hide inside of when you're doing your work. Whatever it might be, there's lots and lots of options for you in terms of different build hacks. Look at this one, for example. Um, my friend guest over here has actually made a whole area up here for all of us skirts and shoes to be hung up on the walls how cool does that look just all inside this little, like closet area that's up top which i think is super super cute there's so 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 many options that you guys can have for customizing your dorms and i really hope that you find some of these useful this for example is a single bed that i had but i actually placed two blankets and then ruffled them up by clicking on them then i did all the pillows on top like that to make it look all cozy in the corner and then i put a platform underneath just to make the space a bit larger because the by default the dorm space over on the balcony is not very large so i made a little bit bigger of a platform there's a lot that you can do with these for another, another example actually of something i did do is i made my own plants i actually toggled the cactus mug to have nothing in it and then shoved a plant inside it just like that to make it custom because some of the plants i'd learned like the way that they look on the outside so i thought it'd be cool to customize them one thing you can do as well is if you grab these sugar cubes like if you buy a sugar cube pot for example and then you place it down not not only can you toggle these sugar cubes to be other things let me show you so for example if i pop a sugar cube here not only can you toggle it to be honey instead if you want to as you can see you can also toggle it to be empty both honey empty or of course sugar empty and you can change the size to make it really really large so if you wanted to you can put a huge plant inside of one or toggle it to be really little if you want and put a little plant inside so for example if i go ahead and pop that there now that i've toggled it i could go in here find the plants grab one of the ones that have like say i don't know something cute in it like maybe this one i don't know if this one comes with a toggle to remove the vase but let's see if it does I know it goes really little, but no, you can't remove the vase on this one. But you could get the really little plant and you could just pop it inside of here. And if you want a larger vase instead of the big vase, just pop it inside like that and remove it down. And as you can see, it makes it look like it's inside of a larger vase and it will just clip into the table. So you can't even tell that you've done it. So now I have a plant inside of a bigger vase if you want to. So there's lots of options here for customization. You can really, really go crazy with the amount that you can customize this. I think it's absolutely amazing and there's so much you can do. And I'm so excited for everybody to get to play all of this when it releases for everybody else very soon. I don't think it'll be too much longer before it's out for everyone else. So I don't think you have to worry too much about being able to play it. I think very soon you guys will be able to. Oh my gosh, that can be huge. Oh, and there's even like a little plant in there. Look, this, the, oh my gosh, there's so many toggles for this. Okay, that plant can be absolutely massive. That's kind of scarily large. Look at how big it can get. That kind of frightens me. <laughs> how big that can be is kind of scary to me for some reason. But I could put like one there, maybe. 
Look at that in the corner. There we go. Plonk. Yeah, there's so much you can do, you guys. And I know you're going to have a blast just playing with all of this. I can't wait till it's out for all players and not just level 500s because I think you're going to love it. But there's so many little secrets and little hacks and stuff that you can try. And I hope you enjoy trying them all. You guys, I just can't wait for you to get to play in here and get to explore it because there's just so much that you can do. And I just think it's so wonderful. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this little video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Click that bell and of course you start to be when buying Robux or Premium and I'll see you on the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.